Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Matt Krasuki. I'm the Senior Medical Director for the Dr. Crono EHR and I'm going to take you briefly through a sample patient case to highlight the use of the problem list, medication list, and allergy list. So here we have a 54 year old woman with a history of morbid obesity, tobacco abuse, and hypertension. And she comes in with a failure to adhere to a healthy diet and regular exercise and also to review some recent lab results. She's found to have an elevated low density lipoprotein level and she also mentions to you for the first time that she is allergic to niacin. So the first thing I'd like to do is enter the new diagnosis of hyperlipidemia which you can find here. The default date is today's date and the default status is active. You can change it to inactive or resolved in the future as needed. For now I'm going to update this and you can see it listed here as hyperlipidemia with the ICD-9 code, the status, and the date diagnosed. There's also an option to look at problem history which lists current and old diagnoses with the date diagnosed and the date modified. And this would be the modification of the status from active to resolved or inactive. Next what I'm going to do is look at the medication list and see the patients on atenolol. First I want to go to allergies and see what the patient's allergies are. I also want to add what the new allergy is, which is niacin, and what the reaction is, which the patient reports is flushing. So now I've updated that and I want to go to the patient's active medications and add the new medication, which in this case will be simvastatin, 20 milligrams by mouth every morning. I'm going to go ahead and update that. And then there you go. You're all set. 